Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're looking at, at looking at adding rational expressions with linear denominators with common factors, basic. All right, so we want to subtract 8 over 5x plus 10 minus x over x plus 2. All right, so the first thing I see is that 5x plus 10 in my first denominator, I see that it can be factored. I see it has a greatest common factor of 5, those two terms. So I'm going to rewrite that factoring out the 5. That means I'm dividing each one of these by 5. So x plus 2. All right, so I factored there. Now I'm going to find my least common multiple of my denominators. So I have 5 times x plus 2, and I have x plus 2. So the least common multiple of that, which the least common multiple would include all of my factors. So I need a five. And then both of these terms have x plus two. So I need an x plus two to the first power. So I use x plus two to the first power. All right. Now that's my new common denominator. So let's go to the next step and write a big fraction here with a common denominator of 5 times x plus 2. All right, so comparing my original denominator 5 times x plus 2 to my common denominator 5 times x plus 2, it's exactly the same. So that tells me that I multiply by 1. So 8 times 1, because I don't need to multiply by anything. The denominator is already there, what we need for the common denominator. However, in my second denominator, I only have x plus 2, but my common denominator is 5 times x plus 2. That tells me here that I multiply by 5. So minus x times 5. Okay, well, all righty, so now we have 8 minus 5x all over 5 times x plus 2. Uh, you can leave it like that, or you can flip it around, negative 5x plus 8 all over uh, 5 times x plus 2. There's nothing that I can factor from the 5x and the 8. So that would be my final answer, but either one of these would be okay. All right, so this one we factored our denominator and then found our least common multiple of our denominators and went from there. Okay, so let's look at another one. All right, so we have 6x over 6x plus 24 plus 5, or x over 5x plus 20. So again, um, we want to add these, but we need to find a common denominator. But before we find the common denominator, we need to factor those denominators. So the first denominator has a GCF of uh, 6x or 6. The second denominator has a GCF of 5, so I can factor out a 5 and divide each one of those terms by 5. All right. Now, before I move on, look at that first fraction, the monomials. The monomials have a common factor of 6. So I can simplify. I can go ahead and cancel out those 6s and simplify that to x over x plus 4 plus x over 5 times x plus 4. Now let's find the least common denominator, or least common multiple of our denominators, x plus 4 and 5 times x plus 4. So the least common multiple, you must have the 5 and you must include the x plus 4. So 5 times x plus 4 is my least common multiple of my denominators. So that's going to be my common denominator. Alrighty, so let's go down here and make a big fraction. All 
All right, so what did I multiply the x uh, plus 4 by for my first fraction to get 5 times x plus 4? What do I have to multiply by? And that's 5. So I need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. So that gives me 5x. What about my, my uh, second fraction? Well, it already has that common denominator, so I don't have to change anything in my numerator because essentially I'm multiplying by 1. Alrighty, if you can combine like terms, this is where you start simplifying using your algebra rules. So I'm going to combine my like terms in my numerator. 5x plus 1x is 6x. And the 6 and the 5, those monomials won't simplify any. So that is my final answer. Okay. Alright, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.